It's a vast criminal syndicate, its influence felt on every planet from the Core Worlds to the Outer Rim. Black Sun has existed for hundreds of years and embedded itself into the very fibre of the galaxy. The resources at its disposal are almost limitless, the soldiers under its command number in the tens of thousands, the ignorant even call it the most powerful force in the known universe. The Black Sun Syndicate emerged shortly after the Great Galactic War, whilst the Republic rebuilt after the Treaty of Coruscant, which had resulted in utter devastation across the Republic homeworld. The lower levels of Coruscant suffered particularly, with few resources to rebuild and a limited amount of Coruscant security forces to keep the peace. Mass rioting ensued. In the chaos, several major crime families chose to band together and seize control of neighbourhoods the Republic could not. These gangs brought their own style of law to the neighbourhoods, and it may not have been fair like the Republic's, but it was something which brought about the expression, better a black son than none. The Black Sun Syndicate was born. The crime families quickly developed the weapons and spice trading ring in the lower levels, and they went unchallenged and quickly began to expand off-world, with all forms of Republic security being dedicated to the Cold War with the Sith Empire. With the expansion throughout the galaxy, the Black Sun expanded its repertoire to slavery and other businesses no decent man would involve themselves with. Unfortunately, these businesses are incredibly profitable, and the Black Sun used these profits to establish a power base that would stand the test of time. Many believe that the Black Sun's extensive communication network was more advanced than both Imperial Intelligence and the Republic Strategic Information Service. This ensured that the Black Sun Syndicate was aware of its enemies' movements, keeping them and their assets safe. So tight was the Black Sun's grip on the galaxy that in 33 BBY, the head of the Black Sun, Alexi Garn, was so revered, he found himself in Naboo Palace, along with the King of Naboo and Senator Palpatine. However, Alexi had allowed his reputation to precede him. Whilst attempting to steal a trade agreement from Higo Damask, also known as Darth Plagueis, he made an enemy of two of the galaxy's most powerful secret Sith Lords. Darth Sidious and Plagueis decided that the Black Sun needed to be dealt with, however not destroyed. Darth Maul was sent to kill Alexi and multiple Vigos, which are the governing bodies of the Syndicate. The Black Sun, although crippled, did return to its former glory, only to again have an even more devastating encounter with Maul during the Clone Wars. This resulted in the Black Sun joining with the Death Watch in an attempt to establish control over Mandalore. However, this didn't work out. By the time of the Galactic Civil War, Prince Zizor was the glorified leader of the Syndicate. Zizor led the Black Sun into a golden age with seamlessly limitless wealth and almost unlimited amounts of soldiers. Some believe the Syndicate's power to rival that of Emperor Palpatine. However, Zizor had a personal vendetta against Palpatine's apprentice, Darth Vader, who was responsible for killing the Prince's family after a chemical accident where they were purged to stop a deadly virus from spreading. So great was the Black Sun's influence, even in this time Emperor Palpatine had contracted the Black Sun organisation to deliver materials to the site of the Death Star Mark II. This was in an attempt to ensure the Rebellion learnt about the Death Star, as Sidious knew the Black Sun would not keep the information secret for the right price. Towards the end of the Galactic Civil War, the Black Sun was severely crippled when its leader, Prince Zizer, who had been largely responsible for the Golden Age, was murdered above Coruscant by Darth Vader after learning of his attempts to kill Luke Skywalker. Zizer had attempted to kill Skywalker after learning he was Vader's son in an attempt to settle his score with his old nemesis. Although the Black Sun never fully recovered after the loss of the Prince, it continued to be a thriving power in the galaxy's underworld, specialising in every evil business that was profitable. <laughs>